there beautiful beings and welcome to my sacred space. My name is Raven and thank you so much for being here. Today we are going to have a look at the Dreaming Way Tarot by Rome Choi. Um, this is a deck by US Games. Um, as you can see this came in a talk box and I don't have any problems with talk boxes as long as you keep them secure. They don't really um, get tattered fast. Um, this is a deck that was gifted by an Aquarian Sense. So this is a pre-love deck and I'm so keen to have a look at the actual 78 cards. Um, so as you can see, it's well loved. This deck was an originally published in... Let me see. Oh, it doesn't have the copyright here. Hmm. But okay, so we're going through the guidebook first. Um, Oh, by the way, oh yeah, it says here, and this is published in 2012. If you're here just for the flip through of the cards, please have a look at my timestamp at the description box. Otherwise, we are going to have a quick look at the guidebook. So, introduction to the Dreaming Way Tarot. Okay, so this is, oh. Oh, okay, very interesting. So this is a story about Rome Choi and how she got into tarot. And then immediately you go on to the Major Arcana cards, the description of Major Arcana cards, and then on to the individual meanings per card. And then, so you have quite a lot of information. You have the upright and the reversed information. Very straightforward as most little white books are. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh huh, and then you also have like minor arcana cards here, and at the same time you also have numerology here, which is very interesting to see in a little white book. That's pretty cool. And then on to the minor cards. Okay, anything else? I saw a spread early. Okay, there you go. So we have the Dreaming Way five card spread. Usually they include the Celtic cross, but mm, they just provided that. That should be okay. Now, as for the cards, they are very smooth. So I, I'm pretty sure, you know, Anna really took care of these cards because they're still in pristine condition. Now, just for comparison's sake, I'm going to get my Star Seeker card, the, at least one card from the deck. Oopsie. Okay, because this is pretty much your standard tarot deck size. So let's just have a look. Mm. Okay, well, the Dreaming Way Tarot is a hairline taller. But in terms of the width, it's pretty much the same. Oh, as you can see, this is a matte deck. Cardstock is excellent. It's quite um, buttery to the touch. This one, of course, it's a mass market deck so you know you shouldn't really have a lot of um, expectations i'm not saying that mass market decks aren't good enough they are really nice actually but i just wanted to manage your expectations however having said that the cards are quite thick it you can see it's quite elastic it doesn't really bend easily um the card stuff is really nice as well it's very decent it is sturdy uh I think this one has a core, I guess. Um, it is a bit shiny. It's not hyper gloss, but that's it. Oh, look, there's a chameleon. Very nice. I'm going to put it here. Um, yeah, the backing, I think, maybe, I don't know, I'm somehow reminded of the chameleon. Maybe that's the reason why the backing is a little bit reptilish. <laughs> I love the colors, though. It's so pretty. I love the color green. Um, it's very simple, yet it's unique. Do you know what I mean? I guess, you know, there are some people who are quite afraid of little dots. I forgot what that phobia is called. If you let, if you know, please let me know in the comment section below. But I, I've seen that photo of that, you know, crazy... I don't know if it's... I don't know what kind of plant or <laughs> whatever it is. But it has, like, so many different holes. And I had a workmate before who was so repulsed by that so I'm, I'm guessing she has that phobia i don't have it and i don't mind but i mean if you are one of those people then maybe you know this might not be the deck for you it, only if you, you know you're just really bothered by it but 
it's very straightforward um the box says that it has contemporary artistic flair which i totally agree with okay i'm gonna start with the flip through now i'm gonna zoom in a little bit and we'll start There you go, that's the full flip through of the Dreaming Way Tarot. It was not in order, obviously, but you know, I didn't really bother to go through it and put it in chronological order. I mentioned, I think I mentioned this before in one of my past videos that I, you know, I would try to not 
arrange them because some people would just watch the majors, <laughs> the majors. Um, and I feel like the other artwork in the deck don't get appreciated as much. Speaking of artwork, I think this is really striking. It is quite strange for me, to be honest. I can't seem to quite figure out the timeline or the setting for the deck, which actually makes it more interesting for me. So that's really cool. And this is one of the most beautiful death cards that I have ever seen. It is just, I know it's very simple. It's just a, a you know, a girl who's somewhat like the grim, the grim reaper, but I don't know, it speaks to me. So that's very lovely. I also love how the queen of pentacles has a child here, which symbolizes that she's, um, you know, um, the motherly type, like one step down from the empress in a way, you know, the domestic vibe is there. Very interesting. There are some cards here that are, um, ex that exudes a lot of emotions and right when I said that, it's here. Look at that. The three of swords is just really, oof, there's really a lot of intensity in, um, her face right her expression says it all even though it's not bloody or whatnot and you don't see the heart you automatically know what this card symbolizes or what it's supposed to mean so that's very wonderful i think it's cool this deck um the colors are vibrant you know i thought he was crying the first time that i had a love but but like i said you know i just can't seem to figure out which um I don't know, like setting <laughs> or time. This is for oh look, are those paper clips? No, that's a chain. Interesting, interesting double card. You know, it's a nice looking deck. I love the quality of the cardstock. I guess U.S. Games cardstock have always been that nice anyway, so that's good. I mean, very sturdy. Look at that, the sun, and then there's no actual sun in it, but we do have the sun baby and sunflowers. Pretty. I like it. This is very interesting. Oh, look, she's holding Tora. Cool. Very interesting. What do you guys think about this deck? Do you like it? I love the guidebook, even though it's a little white book, you know, it even has, it provides you know, an extra mile of information with the numerology. So I think that's pretty cool. Let's try to shuffle. I do have small hands, but let's see if I can shuffle. <laughs> Sorry for the background or the sound effects, but it is pretty thick. So I'm going to cut it in half so that I will be able to shuffle it a little bit more easier. And so you won't have to hear my grunts. Yeah, like I said earlier, you know, cardstock is pretty thick, so it's it's to be expected that, you know, I will be having quite a difficulty in shuffling it just because they're not as bendy or not as, you know, flexible. Regardless, this is a beautiful deck. Thank you so much, Anna, for sending this to me. I will cherish this deck. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much and I hope I see you again soon here on my channel. If you find this video helpful in any way, consider giving it a like or subscribe to my channel for future videos like this. Thank you guys. Bye.